Well, absolutely cracking game of football to watch as a neutral. What was your thoughts on your side's performance across the 90? Yeah, good game. Good game for the neutral, like you said. Uh, the first 25 minutes, we were on top of them. Then they came back into a game, as you would expect. They're a good side. They're the champions. And then we just reset it in the second half. And then we had a great second half, too. So, yeah, good game. I mean, you really did start like a house on fire. Goals in the fifth minute and the ninth minute. What was that down to? We're a big club. You, people don't realise it. We're a big club. So, it's no surprise. It's just that all we need is a bit of belief and we'll get on with it. But we showed tonight that what we can do. Also, a bit of a different look to your side tonight. You had Ogawa starting at the top of your side. What was the reasoning behind that decision and how do you think he went? Yeah, he did good. He got a goal. That you can't, you can't, I can't fault anyone. I can't praise any individual. It's a team effort. It's a, it's a great effort by everybody. Even the subs made a difference and the credit goes all to them. Uh, back, us, back in the side tonight. Uh, seemed to give your team a different dimension in both attacking and defensive phases. Do you think... Uh, well, ha how is it a question of fit going forward? Who, who let's say, starts with all those midfield pieces in mind? We'll get back on Monday or Tuesday training and then we said again, like I said, and we trade and we see the next week what happens and obviously we'll go forward as we always do and pick the best 11 and best 16. We are, of course, speaking to you tonight because Carl Robinson's um, not here. I believe he's back at the hotel. Could you... Tell us, we've heard some talk on what was on the telly and that. What, why exactly he isn't here tonight? No, he just wasn't feeling well. He's done the whole week, all work all week. And just today, this morning, wasn't feeling well. And then it happened to be like this. And we got to get on with the job. He's prepared the team well and the, the boys did well. When you say he's not feeling well, is it COVID-related or non-COVID-related illness? If I'm a doctor, I'll tell you, but I'm not a doctor, so I wouldn't be able to okay, give so you that answer. So he hasn't returned a positive rapid antigen test or anything like that? Like I said, I'm not a doctor, so... In terms of the... You mentioned a second half reset. Was there anything in particular you changed or was it just a sort of a mentality thing? How, how did you see that reset after half time? Yeah, look, we just said the way they're hurting us after that 25-minute period that we had. And then at the stage, we just dropped into the two. Keanu and uh, Stevie dropped into the two and then we were just more comfortable. And off that, we just built it up going forward and we got a great goal so just a little tweak in there but nothing really major you had a late shout for a handball possible penalty do you think your side unlucky not to get one i haven't looked at it but if you say so it's it's the, you know they made a decision get on with it and it is what it is also a bit unfortunate for your side reese williams was stretched off the field looks like he's potentially done a, himself a serious injury do you have an update on his status? Look, first of all, he's a great leader. We wish him whatever it is. I haven't seen it yet, but wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, it didn't look good, but I'm sure the medical staff will look after it and we'll get more update as we go along. And obviously this was your, fir your, your guys' first game in a few weeks. Uh, so how did you guys kind of handle the break? And do you think that in some way kind of helped you tonight? Uh, look, you just have to adapt. I think every team's going through it. And I think what the boss said during the week, that. You know, the freshens are up and we worked a few things and, you know, we, again, everybody wants to play matches, but it is what it is around the world, the same thing. So, games are good. We want to play them and hopefully we'll play them next week too. And, and do you feel that tonight was kind of a better performance relative to what we've seen for much of the season? No, look, I think we've had good performances too, just that we couldn't score. And tonight we scored in a crucial moment in the game and, you know, got us back in there. But, look... It's just something to work on and keep improving. In relation to, let's say, finishing chances, do you think you had better quality uh, chances tonight in relation to other games? Look, it's a, it's a game of if you score, you'll win, I guess. And being in the right position in the box, myself being in attacking and knowing that and having that instinct. And tonight I thought we had the instinct and we took the chances when they came. So it's just a matter of being in the right position at the right time. As you mentioned, Carl did a lot of the prep work with your side, but in terms of what we saw there tonight, how much scope did you have to make adjustments as you saw fit throughout the 90 minutes? Is most of what we saw there what Carl planned or did you get a chance to mix things up as the game progressed? Look, I've worked with him for nine, ten months now, so he's done all the work. We as a staff do all the work. And again, the credit goes to the boys. And the boys were prepared well by the gaffer. And 
we can just support it. And as you saw the other day tonight, all of them did their job. Thank you very much.